In this video we're going to take a look at an introduction to jQuery, what it is, what it does and why we should use it in our websites. Now if you're looking to perform Ajax operations or cool effects in your website um, and you are not completely familiar with JavaScript, jQuery is a really easy and flexible way to integrate things like effects, uh, jQuery, operations and so on uh, into your website. Now jQuery is essentially a JavaScript library that contains uh, a variety of functions and other functionality that allow you to do this uh, extremely easily. In the last part we looked at an introduction to jQuery, however let's go now on and look at an example that I've quickly written out. I'm going to go over to this tab in my browser and you can see that we've got a paragraph of text here that just says you can see this paragraph. Now I've created a button here which actually hides the paragraph and then allows the paragraph to be shown again. So this is probably um, an extreme, well, it's an, a, a simple example but an effective example of how powerful and easy jQuery can be to use. Now this is essentially going to hide the paragraph and then allow me to reshow it while changing the button text. So if I go ahead and click hide, you can see that the paragraph has been hidden. If I go ahead and now click show, you can see that the paragraph is shown again. And you'll notice that the button text changes as well. In this tutorial, we're going to look at implementing jQuery into a page and just testing if it actually works or not. So one of the things that we need to do, uh, first of all, is go over to the jQuery.com homepage and you'll see here that we can actually download jQuery. Now there's a production and a development version and you're going to need to choose the production version. The development version you'll notice is slightly larger, it's 229 KB and this is uncompressed code. Now the reason for this development version is if you are developing plugins and need access to the um, uncompressed code for jQuery. However, the production version is only 31 kilobytes and is minified and gzipped. Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to take a look at Ajax requests in jQuery. Now we've already looked in previous part at GET and POST requests, however what we're going to be doing now is performing an asynchronous HTTP request, which is an Ajax request. So we're going to go ahead and set up our page uh, to look similar to what we did in the last parts of the tutorial, which were the get and the post. And we're going to create an input text area or an input field. Then we're going to create a button which is going to submit uh, some data to a file. But we're going to be taking a look at the maximum and minimum widths and heights a bit later on anyway. Okay, so for the rest of the um, options I'm going to remove the bigger box just so we can see everything a bit better so I'm going to get rid of the bigger box uh, from here and now again we're just left with the smaller box that we can still resize so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other options that we can define in here now the first one we're going to look at is animate and we can set this to either true or false by default it's false so what's going to happen here is when we drag we don't actually see the drag happen but when we release uh, it resizes uh, to the size that you've defined. Now there is a problem here that you can't actually see where you're dragging to. So I could, you know, drag over here uh, and it'll animate nicely, but we can't actually see where we are actually dragging it to before it animates. So to fix this, we use the ghost option. And by default, this is set to false, but now we're going to set it to true. We'll actually see um, a, a, a lower opacity uh, version of the div that you are, or the element that you are resizing before the animation happens. So you can see that at the moment I'm dragging that there. Um, you can see the uh, opacity set much lower uh, and then that will resize to a particular area um, so you can see the ghost of the div or the element before you actually decide to um, drag it or before the user uh, actually drags it. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to setting we're going to be setting this uh, value to zero initially when the button has been clicked and then we're going to just create um, a set interval timer uh, which is going to uh, gradually increase this value and this obviously doesn't have practical applications but it shows us what the progress bar will look like uh, once it is in place and actually has a real value to uh, to feed back to this uh, 
to this widget. So just for now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this line here and I'm going to create a new variable called interval and that's going to be equal to set interval and inside here we have a function so we pull this down now inside here is what's going to happen uh, every uh, x amount of seconds and we define the seconds just after this here so I'm going to do 50 milliseconds, uh, which is obviously 0.05 of a second, uh, and this is going to allow us to if gradually increase this particular value every 50 milliseconds. So let's go ahead and uh, update this value each time. So we're going to say val equals val plus 1. So that's going to increase uh, the value here uh, by 1 every 50 milliseconds. And then what we can do is go ahead and implement or, or put this into the value of the progress bar. So again, we create, uh, we reference or select the progress bar div, and we use dot progress bar as we did before. But this time, we're going to go ahead and define a value in here, which will be equal to val. And because it's equal to val, every 50 milliseconds, this will increase by one, and therefore the progress bar will constantly update with this updating value here, this variable val. So let's go ahead and test that out, and then we're going to go on to look at how to relay this back to the percentage. So when I click upload, you can see that that gradually increases all the way to the end. However, we do have a problem when it gets to the end. Now, the percentage, uh, the value is constantly increasing now. So